Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenny and you're here at the Curly Q Scrapper YouTube channel. And I've been doing a little bit of reflection over the last few days and just thinking about some of what I want to bring forth in the new year in terms of goals um, and just different um, structure to my channel. Um, I think I have been, um, I, I have specifically kind of been thinking about like how to find that right balance, if you will, of making sure that I'm continuing to create content that I enjoy because this is my hobby. This is not my job. And, um, and also, um, with that, how to kind of not burn myself out. So giving myself achievable goals that will align with where I am in terms of my personal life and professional life. So here's what I've come up with. And um, I have a ton of like little pieces of paper because that's how I just kind of free think. And um, one of the things that I did um, and that I have been looking at um, have been some of the data behind some of the, the my content on YouTube to kind of inform myself of, you know, what is what is being watched, what is keeping people's attention, what are people looking for. Um, so anyway, to that end, kind of my t top 10 videos, if you will, or my content in the top 10 focused around these three subjects. The very first one, right out of the gate, multiple videos got a lot of um a lot of watch hours around um organization so that is always like number one um kind of right in the middle of there are some of my layout shares i don't know that i've done as many perhaps as um I don't know that I do them on any kind of regular basis. It's kind of like when I come back from a crop or things like that. So um, that's something that I'm just kind of trying to figure out. I haven't kind of done the deep dive into looking at just how many I did over the last year. And kind of running, rounding out the rest of the top 10 is um, kit making. And so there's a, there, I did a number of kit making type videos in the last year and those are some of the ones that had um the most traction so and so and um views um so i think one of the things that i'm going to end up shifting over is to continue to have um minimally a video a week and um they're going to be concentrated with very specific um, a selection of different subjects that I can pick from, from four different weeks. So for example, in week one, I know that, um, I will be participating as, um, as some of you, um, might have seen my last video where I'm talking. I think I may have mentioned it. I could be wrong. Um, I'm going to be, um, participating in a new series called Through the Seasons. And so part of that is that every season or every three months, we will do kind of like a large kit share of what we're going to be working with during those three months. And then we will have um, uh, layout shares uh, of what we created during, um, during that time period. So um, week one will always encompass some type of kit share, particularly for the beginning of those first, you know, the three months. And, um, and the other thing that I can obviously choose from is whether I want to work on a base page or use a base page, or I can do an organizational type project of some kind. Um, 
And then hopefully with that, right, that can kind of amass like things that I can pick from for week one. And then week two would be different. It would not necessarily be the same. And then on, you know, so on and so on for week three, week four, um, because I also don't necessarily like being boxed into week one, it must be this or week two, it must be this. I want to have the flexibility so that I can have some things to choose from. Um, hopefully that makes sense. Um, so that's what I'm thinking about. I, I really don't tend to set goals in terms of uh, I don't send, uh, I don't tend to set YouTube goals. I don't tend to set, um, like number of, um, layouts to be completed. I don't tend to do those types of things. Um, right now I am committed, like I said, to, uh, being a creator for, through the seasons. And so, um, that will be a year long challenge. And then, um, I am trying to kind of just think for myself, um, and it, I may just end up incorporating it into these, um, these kind of weekly planning lists for myself is that, um, I did do, um, some travel in 2023. And so I still have, well, if truth be told, I still have pictures to print, but I will have a considerable amount of photos from these travels. And so part of what I was thinking is that perhaps one of these weeks I could kind of turn into, um, to, until I complete them, um, you know, have one of the weeks. Uh, again, not every week uh, will it be like a travel related layout, but that I can incorporate, that I can choose from in one week or another week, I can choose the travel to to specifically spotlight travel type photos and layouts. So that's the only other thing I haven't jotted on here. I'm just going to, because, you know, if this old brain doesn't write it down, it will forget. So all right. So I still, it's still kind of a work in progress, but that's what I'm thinking about. And I think that way, kind of leaving it a little bit loose like this is really helpful for, for me. Um, one, to not kind of diminish my creative flow, um, but also to kind of keep me fresh, right? So that it's, so that I'm not always working on the same things. Now, I will say that will I uh will I record every single video and and uh layout that I do? I didn't do that in 2023. So uh you know there are some times so this is a perfect example. Um it, at the time when I'm recording this, it is the end kind of the end of December. And I can tell you, I have not touched any kind of scrapbooking I mean, I've touched some paper, but I haven't really worked on a layout since um, probably very early on this month in December. And um, in order to kind of get my flow again, this is a tip, whatever. But one of the things that I use for um, to kind of get myself going is I will work on a base page. I will work on, um, you know, I, I have, I have three kits here set aside of base pages that I've put together with photos. So they're really easy. And one of the things, one of the reasons why I did this is because December gets so busy that I think I did a total of maybe four or five of these uh, using base pages, I put these kits together. No, I think I only have two because I think I use this one. Yeah, I already use that one. So I think I only put like three or four, um, but I have two remaining. So I'm going to try my best to get through those just to get myself going because I got to get some of my content. If you're a content creator, you know, you got to get some of the content and what have you um, up and running. And so um 
yeah, I think for right now, I'm going to just try to concentrate on, on using these certain kind of prompts for myself and see how that goes. I can definitely do a check-in, like maybe around the halfway point, um, and kind of just see if this, if this kind of method is working for me or not, <laughs> I might have to, may have to zhuzh it up a little bit. Um, but, um, that those are my thoughts at the very least. Um, so, so be on the lookout. There will be a kit share come the new year. Um, and, um, obviously some, um, monthly layout shares, um, of everything that I am creating and obviously some things in between. So stay tuned for that. Um, I'm so glad that you are here. I am so glad for all of you who are new subscribers, like in the, I don't know what happened in the month of December. I think I ended up like November, December, I ended up like spiking with the number of, um, new subscriptions. So welcome to all of you. Um, and, um, I'm happy that you're here. I hope that you will enjoy future content. If there's something specific that you're looking for, don't hesitate, put it in the, in the comments below. I love interacting with my subscribers and, um, yeah, we'll take it from there. Um, Happy New Year to all of you and we'll talk soon.